Matt Canning, BodybuildingPro.com. We're here at the 2014 Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. I'm with Mark Bell at the Slingshot booth. Mark, you're quite the uh, <laughs> prolific powerlifter yourself. 26, 29 total, one of the greatest achievements in powerlifting, really. And powerlifting is an extreme sport. Strongman, extreme sport. Even bodybuilding, very extreme. A lot of these guys, some of them last, well, a lot of them last a few years, some of them here and there last 25 years and you know like it's kind of funny that this, that some can make it and others can't what advice would you give to a power lifter strongman bodybuilder who wants to have a long career what can he do to sustain that and make it last yeah powerlifting or strength sports in general are very brutal and they can be dangerous uh, you see a lot of injuries um, you have uh, a lot of people tearing you know tearing muscles off the bones uh, you got people breaking legs you got you know like my guy Brandon Lilly uh, popping his knee out and falling with a, a big squat. I myself hit the floor with a 1,085 at one point. It's a very dangerous sport and I always try to preach to people that it's important that you treat yourself like a professional. If you think about the old guy in the gym, everybody knows the old guy in the gym. Everyone goes to the gym around 5 p.m. You have that old guy in the gym who rests 12 minutes in between every set. He's always like rubbing lotions on himself and strapping himself up. He's always wearing wrist wraps, the elbow sleeves, and all this stuff. That guy is smart because he's been lifting for a very long time. He's going to put his belt on early in his workout. He's going to make sure that he's protected. I always preach to people that you have to protect yourself before you wreck yourself. It's very important that you, not everyone needs to wear a slingshot or an elbow sleeve or, uh, you know, mummify themselves with knee wraps and different things like that. But it's just, it's very, very important that you treat yourself like a professional. You're making sure, sure you're getting proper rest. You're making sure you're staying uh, properly hydrated. You're just, uh, you got a checklist of things that you're making sure that you're leaving no stone unturned in your efforts to get stronger. You cannot get stronger if you get hurt. You can go from being a hero to a zero. You won't be able to lift, you won't be able to show people how strong you are if you're injured. So it's very important that you go through a checklist of things, make sure your diet's intact, make sure your training's intact. By that, what I mean, keeping your training intact is to make sure that you're lifting within your own means. You're not just watching a video from Dan Green or Stan Efforting who are lifting these mass, mass amounts of weight and you're not just going in there and trying a similar workout. You're staying within your own means. Those guys are true professionals and those guys are, are guys that have lifted for a long time and they've taken their time to achieve a certain level. And it's going to uh, take the same effort from everybody else out there. They're going to have to take their time as they're trying to move up the ladder.